I suppose I'll get the offensive. Mind you, it said it's really hard, so I guess the defensive ability might be better. Oh, hello. That's a lot of people. Okay. Yeah, how much health do you have? You have 50. So why did that guy die in one hit from our attack? Have we got crit? Yes, we do. According to that item. Sturdy iron between you and your foes. Which you can't drop, I believe. No. Right. Heal up. I mean, technically, I could have... Uh, I could have done that during combat, I think. Because I don't think the restoration actually is removed on hit. I think. I could be wrong. I've still got, I've still got a plus two armor. Be gone, foul beast! Or wraith in this case. Oh, this doesn't look trapped up. Yeah, we're saving. Okay. I've got two essences of courage. I wonder what that did. Ooh, don't have experience. Strange necklace. Ooh. The Eye of Separation. Feels heavy. Oh my god, that is not actually that bad. I could probably tank these. I've got my healing, so. The thing is, I've got a little bit of too good to use syndrome because I don't want to use that envy of dead at the moment. Because it feels like that I'm going to need that for like a boss or something, and I don't want to uh, use all my mana because I don't know how fast it regenerates. I forgot to check that earlier. Uh, right, some of the double gamma of the wearer to distract enemies. Double gamma deals no damage, and only takes 50% damage, but lasts merely 10 seconds. So basically, good for distracting a boss if they're uh, sort of m murdering you. Or for luring people in two different directions. Ooh, cages. You can break those. You couldn't break the ones in the cave, which is a bit of a strange. Oh, these are going to be ones that take forever to break, aren't they? Oh no. I was going to say this is where something really horrible comes out of it, but... It appears we've been quite lucky today. Alright, that gate didn't open. So I wonder if it's... God, this guy's slow. I wonder if it's the uh, gate that was over, over there somewhere. And unfortunately, the camera is locked, so I can't check. But then I suppose that kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Or the object. Right. So I've got 26 Essence of Madness and 2 Essence of Courage. I wonder if the Essence of Courage acts like Titanite shards. Like weapon upgrades and things like that. Hmm. Ooh, a soul vessel. Tome of experience and tome of combat. Which increases my damage. Tarkus's blade deal deal less damage. Um, should be deals less damage to heavily armoured foes. Ooh, a gate. Not seen one of those before. <laughs> yeah. What he said. Another gate. Yes. Yes, there's another gate. I can't remember what the voice I did for him. Y yes, and beyond it, the first fallen. My Uriel, don't creep up on me, spirit. I would apologise if I cared. Listen, fallen, your next adversary was much, once very much like yourself. Flesh from life, uh, my voice goes too fast. Uh, he won't stop me, spirit. Neither him nor any other terror that denies my escape will stop me. Heed this warning, fallen. Your opponent is a grand vision of what will happen to you should you fail. Very well then. Anything else to note? Not anything to note. He himself loathes being aided and will not take kindly to those who try. Basically, some of the load of minions by the sounds of it. Noted. Noted indeed. 
Oh, hello. You know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of the first boss of... Uh, see, was it the first boss? Of Dark Souls 3. Oh, we got copyrighted music in the background. That's going to go well for my channel, isn't it? Riftstone. What does that do? Aha! I auto attack it. And it summons uh, minions. And there's none down there. Desiderium Night of Regret. I think eventually he's going to start either going to start attacking him or he's going to start taking damage. He's got 9999 health. No, just 999 health. Uh, I get the feeling this is where my shadow thing is going to be useful. Because I cannot attack for long before. So if they attack me, he'll attack them. He's sorry, apparently. Right, keep attacking that. Now come over here. Back off for a minute. Ah, I died anyway. Okay, heal up. I have a nice second cooldown on that, so... He's lost two health now. I should not have done that. That was silly, because now... <laughs> I now have sort of pushed it back. Oops. Um, well... Right. Come on. Can you guys, like, attack each other or something? That would be helpful. So I can see the cooldown on that one. Uh, so am I supposed to attack him while he's distracted, then? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to fight him in a strap fight. Damn it! Still hit me. So he was he was losing health. Uh, I did not attack that, did I? He said he's sorry. But I don't really get it. I won't lie. That said, I'm not particularly good at using my brain, so... Alright, my necklace is back off cooldown. Okay. See, he lost... A white room, no windows. He lost another health point. He's Banner Ash and King. I can't. I should really just kite him until... There we go. Let's back up. Let's heal up. Get my Shadow Guy. And then we'll both go and attack separate. Right. Is he attacking? Is he focusing on him? He is. Uh, he's kind of focused. He's got really confused. Right. Okay. He seems to be... Oh god, I should not have. I wonder if the idea is to make him so upset that he's uh, killed loads of people that uh, <laughs> he just gives up. He seems to have the same spell that I does as well, that crush spell. Let's use Crush on that. Move it forward. Uh, 
I'm nearly dead, so I want to be a bit careful. If it weren't that damn slow poison, then uh, I might be a little bit better off. Ow! Uh, yeah, you need to actually manually attack it, don't you? And it sums it up there. I wonder if you're not supposed to be able to actually use crush on those. Come on! Heal me up! I might need to use my... my magic... Uh, illusion-y person. God, why has it not got like a cooldown indicator like that one does? Well, let's at least turn on Envy of the Dead, because neither of these use mana, so I might as well. I should have done that at the beginning of the fight, to be honest, but whatever. Right. Both attack that. Don't attack me, you pillock! Oh, they are attacking him. They're attacking him. So they will... I might have made a mistake. <coughs> Alright. Move that further along. Uh, why are they aggroing to me first? Is it because I have lower health? I think it might. So if I get far enough away, they'll hopefully start aggroing on him. Unless he needs to attack them first. Alright. Um, yeah, I think I messed up with that one. I should have moved them both sort of to the centre. Alright. Still not ready. Right, I think I've got the basic gist of what to do now. This is just basically kiting simulator. Unfortunately, I can't reach the num the numpad <laughs> from where from where my fingers are on the keyboard because it, it will actually get in the way of or oh, my microphone's in the way. So that's slightly irksome, but ow. Oh, he's attacking that guy. No, don't attack me. Uh, don't attack him. Right. Heal up. Move all the way around. Ow. Don't slow poison me, please. Can I use crush on him? I can't target bosses with that. Right, so yeah, the idea is just to get the zombies to attack him. Or him to attack the zombies and then the zombies to attack him. And sort of. Okay, I need to get him away from the... I wonder, actually. Let's move him over here. And then... Go! Excellent. That should be enough to get him to attack him again. In theory, yep. Oh, they sort of they're sort of striking him. Most of them are still coming for me though, because they're rude. Eh shaved off another hundred or so. Still not really enough. Why are the zombies aggroing to me first? I'm still fairly certain it's due to my life amount. In theory, once I get him down to about 300 odd, uh, it will. Yes, even when it, when they attack him, or when he attacks them, he doesn't really. All right, we'll just get him. I wonder if you can farm this area for experience. This is getting slightly irritating. I must admit. Hold on. Get away from the damn um, eye. Okay. 
I've got both of, all of my stuff is off cooldown. So. Ow. Good. Go over there. It seems almost like there's a command for them to attack me first. Right. I can tank some of this, but I can't tank it for long. Alright. I'm out. So how much damage do they do? Not a lot in the grand scheme of things. This is a very irritating boss fight, I must admit. <coughs> oh dear. I think I'm going to spend most of this most of my map time just doing this boss fight. Because they won't seem to attack him. Yeah, but it, no matter what I do, it just will not attack. I mean, even if I attack something else, like when you try and remove the aggro of creeps or whatever in melee games, it just does not do it. Uh, I think you have to attack your own units to do that. I wonder if that will work if I attack the, uh, the illusion. Hmm. That might work. Come on, come over here. There we go. Lovely. Ow. Right. Attack there. Uh, right, if I attack him now. No, that doesn't, doesn't work. Well, it was worth a try. Okay. Please don't use your spin attack. Oh, use the spin attack. Right. Isn't it, isn't it lucky that these rift zones were here? Otherwise, this boss fight might be impossible. Or it might just be impossible anyway. Nah, it's not. Alright. I am getting very low on health now. Oh, no, no. Don't go right next to him, you utter moron. I've got Envy of the Dead up again, so let's do that. Because I think I'm going to need it. Ah, oh, my mana does regenerate while I've got that active. Interesting. Keeps going on about this white room, no windows. Bam. Yeah, I definitely don't goof with the uh, the old. No, I won't bounce off walls or anything. By the looks of it. Stop killing all the minions. Let the minions kill you instead. Right, he's he's gone. I uh, can't target that. There you go. I'll let him. I'll let him target the illusion. That's fine. Right, that's a lot of zombies. So hopefully that's enough to start taking him down a notch. Oh god, I'm gonna get hit. In fact, he's actually getting quite low on health now. He's down to 400. Well, just over. I mean, at this point, I could actually probably just start wailing on him. Oh uh, no, I couldn't actually, judging by his damage. I don't. I still don't understand what it is that I'm actually supposed to uh, do in terms of like how to get them to target him. They just seem to do it randomly. It's like a. So this boss fight seems very based on RNG, unless there's some sort of Warcraft skill which I'm not aware of, which is highly likely. Let's face it. Come on. Get over here, you big dumb idiot. Right. Charge! 
I could have done that slightly better, actually. And I wish I'd stopped doing that as well. Alright. You gonna start attacking him, or are you just gonna go straight for me like you always do? Yeah, you're just gonna go for me like you always do. Oh, they're starting to turn on him. Yep, we've got a few extra hits in. Two hits in. Oh. It's an extra one there. So, in theory, soon they'll aggro on him because he has the least health. I hope. He thankfully he doesn't regenerate, but uh Well. It's not the most interesting of boss fights, is it? <laughs> <laughs>